it is 8 37 on july 22nd and today is a pretty surreal day <laughs> My name is Mayor. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Come on in. We're accepting. We're lovely. We're warm. Come on in. Um, I thought I would vlog today to bring you along on a decision that I have made. And if you're in the Marathon or Facebook group, and I may have even mentioned this in a vlog earlier this year, but for a while now, I have been feeling like... I needed to do something different and well not even different it's it's a long story well I want to do exactly what I'm doing now but I want to do it with credentials and I want to do it with more knowledge and understanding the science behind things I want to be a therapist and I know I would make a fantastic therapist and I know there are a lot of people who could benefit from me doing this and I want to help and I mean I feel like that's kind of what I'm doing a lot of the time on my channel and in my socials anyway and I want to do it on a more professional level. I also want to write more books and I want to do more speaking engagements and I want to be even more of an expert on the topic of mental health and grief and help women empower themselves and this just feels like the logical thing to do and so that's what I've decided to do to go back to school to get my undergrad and get my master's and become a therapist and doesn't mean I'm gonna stop vlogging, doesn't mean I'm not running my business still. Nothing in my actual life <laughs> is getting like canceled. It's just getting amplified by the fact that this morning I registered for post-secondary. <laughs> my plan is to do, I have one year of post-secondary that I did right out of high school and I was thrilled to learn that it is it counts so I'm already in my second year which has me further than I anticipated when I first started thinking about this I'm gonna do one year at our local college and then transfer to a bachelor's of social work get that and then get my master's of counseling psychology that's the plan right now but as we all know plans change things change you change your mind something in a program may really you know get my attention and I might totally switch things up but that's what I'm thinking now this feels like a much better more solid future for me and for Thomas more income, steady income, the ability to really up level my income and something that is more manageable. Yes, it's going to be busy and you know, I'm going to need a lot of focus to do this school aspect, but it's like short term for such a long game and such a long term payoff. And nothing is changing like I said I'm still going to be running my business in order to you know still pay for my home and all of our life and all of the things and school and everything but um, it just feels like maybe that's what my you know another purpose of having this business which I can't believe will be five years this October since I started it so that's my big news and I've officially registered for an English class, an introduction to social work class, and a gender studies class. Next semester I'm going to do an indigenous studies class as well and another social work class. There's the two requirements to get into the third year and then something else. We'll see. I'm thinking maybe um, an anthropology class to learn about like social skills and things we do and anyway this is a very long intro but it's a really exciting day and 
I am going to be 37 <laughs> one week today. So I'm very well, well, well aware that I could be my classmates mom. <laughs> I'm registered as a mature student. <laughs> oh, I'm still gonna vlog it. Now you're just gonna come along as I go back to school in my mid to late 30s <laughs> and 40s. <laughs> anyway, that's the beginning of the day. I haven't eaten yet. I'm just gonna pay for my first semester and then go from there. Welcome to the marathon. <laughs> sure I should not be drinking this smoothie in this dress. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be doing anything in this dress today. This is from Aritzia. I have it in a navy color too, which I wear way more often because I'm way more comfortable. But I like like red hair and pink. I think looks pretty. So we're just... <laughs> I feel like we should do a ticker clock on the vlog to see how long I can wear it. Can I introduce you to the new member of the family? My new fridge. Yeah, I did buy a new fridge. My old one, also, you're welcome. Take a shot. This is the new bad boy. Look at her in all her glory. I feel like we could do a fridge tour. Um, would you like to see the inside? Ooh, fridge. Ready? Ooh. It's so messy, we just like put everything in. But, um, yeah, that's my new fridge. I, my old one was the original from this house, so it was from 1992. Started leaking in November, fixed it. Started leaking again, fixed it. And by, I mean, fi like, fixed it. Like, the unicorn and I just, like, you know, kept solving the problem. And then, a couple weeks ago, um, it started leaking again, and it was just like, ma'am, I have worked hard for you. I'm done here. So, these are the berries I put in my smoothie. So I um, asked for your advice on Instagram, as I always do, and or sorry, on Facebook and Instagram, and lots of you told me what brand not to get, which was Samsung, and I went with the Whirlpool. I got it from a local appliance place, which, just feels nice. It's the same place where I got my dishwasher, which coincidentally is Whirlpool, and my washer and dryer. Just great service. And now we have her. I thought the black would look nice with the blue and the like black hardware that we put on the cabinets. So just a usual top freezer. I didn't want a bottom freezer. I didn't want French doors. I just wanted this, and I'm very happy with it. I didn't get stainless steel to match this because I am personally offended by fingerprints, and so I thought this would be much nicer. Thank you. It's like it's so shiny, you can see me. <laughs> this will be black, and then I'm gonna get a black range hood too, so it's all like sleek, but. Um, I just paid for a semester of school, so not anytime soon. I just got so emotional. I think it just like hit me how much I know that this is like, finally I know what I'm supposed to do. Like, it feels so right. I just told all my family. My mom knew. Uh, I, I talked to her about it like weeks ago. And the first thing she said to me when I like broached the idea, I was nervous because, you know, it's like 
a commitment and it's like an expense and I'm already a single mom and all the reasons why I should not do this but my mom instantly was like so supportive and she was like your dad would be so proud and that like just meant so much to me anyway so she's known and she's been super supportive and then I told all my other like my extended family just now we have like a Mondo group chat they're all supportive. I just told Jeremy's family and they're super supportive and I just got really emotional. Like, I've always felt like everything I've been through is for a reason. And I know that helping you has been part of this reason, but to be able to do it in a much more like educated, informed way by doing five more years of school just feels so right. Anyway, I decided to like <laughs> pick up the camera and tell you that because it just feels so good. Like imagine if you watch my videos and then like I could be your therapist, but actually like your actual educated, informed, got our master's degree therapist. I just got emotional. It just all really hit me how like excited I am and how big of a deal it is that it's actually happening. Just rocking out to Taylor in my office. <sighs> anyway, I just had to tell you that. Back to work, I'm just doing client work right now, but <laughs> I just got really emotional. This is a new part of vlogging where you have to like show off your mask aesthetic. <laughs> no? This is the one I have in the unicorn's truck. I feel like a watermelon and I like it. Thomas's current favorite thing is snuggling. Being a little like lap dog. Right, bud? If you like to snuggle, he likes to be wherever we are. We don't mind. Right, bud? <laughs> Boy, can you? Boy, can you? Someone just living his best Day. life. Time <laughs> to make sure that we continue to benefit from those sacrifices. So let's all do our part and be kind and be calm and be safe. We love you, Dr. Henry. Oh, love her so much. Very generously, there are a lot of um, like scholarships and bursaries available to apply for at this college. And so I just spent the last hour and a bit um, applying for a bunch of them. My brain hurts. Now I need to figure out who to ask for letters of reference. And I think I might ask some marathoners because it's like showing how you volunteer and stuff. And I volunteer. So that just made me feel like so brain dead but I came down to this look look at this 
veggie dogs, day of cheese, oven fries, a side salad made by a unicorn. So lucky. So I'm gonna sit and eat this and I'm gonna put you down for a ne the next few hours because we've been, um, this is only our second day, but we've been, we've decided to give ourselves a few hours every day where we put our phones in a basket over here and we don't touch them. And I feel like you're kind of a similar kind of technology. So I'm gonna go be present, eat my dinner. I think we'll probably go to the beach and I will check back with you later tonight to say goodnight. I have a sleeping mask on, like a face mask, but it's when you wear to bed. And I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping? I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Thank you for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Today was a really exciting day and I'm happy to bring you along for the ride. And now some of these vlogs will be like, how to study and like. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll be getting all of your tips because I'm sure there's lots of marathoners who have gone back to school in their 30s and have advice for me. So should we do a little cheersies? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you, marathoner. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Woo, that's strong. Bye.